So I was on a documentary about death. I spent 10 days talking about death around a campfire five miles back in the backcountry with two other really brilliant, amazing people. Callie Russell, who was the number two uh, person on Alone last season. She's a brilliant, amazing, field crafty backcountry woman. And then this other really interesting personality. And, and we got to talk about death. How America looks at both human and animal death is so screwed up now. We have all that happen behind closed doors. We hire our assassins for our animals. We hire our caretakers for our elders. And we let them die alone behind a closed door. And then we say, will you take care of that mess for me because it's really uncomfortable and I'll show up and we'll all pray over the casket and not even look at the body. As little as 150 years ago, not only did we lose our parents and our grandparents and probably one of our children, as well as our spouse by the time we were 50, we washed their body, we helped them die, we threw dirt on their face, and we had a, and a relationship on a daily basis with the killing of animals. And so we, we had a relationship with death and we saw it as beautiful, as beautiful as birth. But now as an American society, we've been kept so comfortable now, we've forgotten that beautiful side of life. And as a result, we have this skewed perception where somebody would be aghast at me for killing Thorn, my best friend. I'll cry my eyes out when I kill him. I love my goats. And for me, it's such a beautiful thing to then be courageous enough to eat them. It's a beautiful thing. It's not, it is, I, don't, I don't lack integrity. I'm, I'm courageous and I'm powerful and I'm, and I'm a beautiful man of God who decides to let that animal lead its last phase in life. He wants to be somebody's food. It's his role to be somebody's food. And we've so skewed it in the way we look at things nowadays that we get to be a chance to be this beautiful message to humanity through these animals. And so, so that's my interest. Joe, Joe needs to talk to me because people need to understand that it's a beautiful thing to kill and eat our animals. It's not this thing that's a cellophane wrapper experience that we have nowadays. And do I believe that he'll someday see that or somebody else will, a bandwidth, and that message will get out? I believe it wholeheartedly. We keep sharing this message and keep putting it out there. The right people are going to see it. And, and I think we're beautiful examples of the interaction of humanity with animals and nature and all those things that we've lost in our urban society. We weren't made to walk on sidewalks. We were made to walk on trails. And we're doing it, you know. So I'm not going to have people judge me for that. I'm just going to let that bounce off the S in my chest and be the powerful man I am and embrace my awesomeness. And you guys should too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>